Okay, so if you have about 15 minutes to spare, I am about to share with you and catch up on my favorite notebooks, pens, and leather covers. So let's go ahead and begin with my favorite notebooks. Um, the Hobonichi Techo, I'm excited to use this because it is a planner and journal kind of all mixed in one. I did a separate video on this, but for those that are new, to this setup you have your yearly overview at a glance and then i like the monthly overview with your weekly spread right after this is for the full year so you can use the months to jot down you know um appointments reminders highlights and then here you can actually plan for your week now another, so a big, you know, favorite about this is again, it's a planner and journal in one where you can use after you're done planning, or at least this is how I'm imagining in my mind, I can jump into the daily pages where I can, if I'd like to, I can go ahead and continue on with my plans or I can use the spread as a journal entry, sketchbook, art journal whatever i like so again more details on this um i think i did this like two videos back so yes this is one that i'm excited to give another shot in 2023 but okay one thing that i realized i'm really leaning towards a5 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 slim that's kind of like my thing as of lately so Thanks to one of, um, a f like two of you, <laughs> I think one was a YouTube comment and one was an Instagram um, person that kind of slid into <laughs> my DMs, letting me know that since I have fallen down the fountain pen, the fountain pen, the fountain pen rabbit hole, try this brand, the Cosmo, Cosmo Note. This is a Cosmo Air Note notebook. And I will show you why I love this notebook. For my regular viewers, you know I love blank pages, okay? So this is, the one that I got is a nice blank notebook. You see how nice and flat it lays? Beautiful. And the paper quality holds up very well with fountain pens, dark inks, markers, whatever you can think of. Let me show you a sample here. Um, let me see, where did I start? Okay. So I have my inks that I've been enjoying. Look at this beautiful lady rose. This is such a beautiful, how do I describe this? Dusty powder pink soft rose petals. Okay, so this Cosmo Air turned into, it was going to become an art journal, but then somehow it just held the title as my fountain pen ink sample journal <laughs> because I was enjoying comparing the differences between this paper and the Midori. So let me grab this. Believe it or not, the Midori paper was my favorite when it came to like blank pages. But then one of my, um, the person that w messaged me on Instagram, they mentioned how the ink quality features the sheen it performs differently on this cosmo and again i like this cosmo because it has the blank pages and it's bound but let me show you let's go through a step-by-step -step comparison shall we let me see i don't know if i did this in order with my inks hold on let me see um Okay, this isn't a really good comparison, but I'll let you know when I can tell the difference. So here's the Seki. Wow, see, I on here you can see more of the purple and green undertone on this Cosmo. Whereas, do I have the Seki on my Midori? Okay, here we go. And then here, it looks more gray-green. I don't even know if I could show you the difference. 
Mm. There we go. Do you see right here? This looks a little bit more grayish, greenish, teal, where this is more of a purple hue. Very interesting right there. Okay, not the best comparison, but just take my word for it. It does perform differently. So yeah, I've been using this notebook to do my ink swatches. And this is kind of where those samples go. And as you can tell by the name of the inks, these are some that I've added into my collection. So moving on. This is uh, also A5 size, but not to worry because for those that love the Moleskine notebook and that love seeing <laughs> my art journal flip through, ah, okay, this is my guilty pleasure, the Moleskine, but particularly the Moleskine Expanded. Let me show you my art journal. Okay, here it is, my um, beloved moleskin art journal this is the expanded meaning it has the 400 pages um yeah so i realized in the last well actually you know what ever since this came out because for moleskin this is new to them i think it came out in 2019 i did a video on this the years ago when it first uh was um being produced and i have not moved out of it ever since so i know i know that as a fountain pen user um, this isn't the best paper quality because fountain pens and darker inks do bleed through i don't think you'll see it on hold on you won't see it in this journal because that was more just art and ballpoint but let me see if i can find a sample page okay here you can see that um let me make sure i don't have anything personal okay i'll just kind of cover this up Okay, so you can see here, I did, I was moving into my Vert Empire green pen, hoping that maybe because this Twisby was extra fine, it would not bleed through, but yeah, it does. So everyone knows in the journaling community, Moleskine is not the best when it comes to heavy inks or wet inks, but um, yeah, I just, I like what I like, and I can't help it guys it's my guilty pleasure so this is my third favorite notebook that i have been enjoying because it pulls the creativity out of me and i'll touch on this on another on another video about kind of shutting out the naysayers and using what works and not necessarily maybe what's the most expensive or what's the most luxurious or the most popular um I can tell you that I am one of the few people that rave about moleskins in the journaling community because we, just because, yeah, like I said, the paper quality is not the best. Um, and for the price point, I think that's what it is. For the price point, you can get better options, but I'll touch more on this on a different video because I don't want to make this too long, but basically when you connect with a notebook that inspires you to create and write I, I encourage you to maybe go towards um towards that lean into that so anyway let's continue on speaking of moleskin i think another reason why i'm drawn to this and this was my first experience using an a5 slim okay you'll see here that the a5 okay this is the regular size and then the A5 Slim is about, what is that, like an inch? Is that an inch? Maybe half an inch. Okay, slimmer. I found these notebooks at TJ Maxx or like Home Goods, And these are um, pretty comparable to the Moleskin. Okay, maybe like a smidge larger. But it's for sure smaller than the A5 so I found these and I thought these could be a great like alternative to the moleskin and it actually holds fountain pen ink really well. It's this brand is, I discovered this about, oh, I think like last year. Um, it is called Alphabet. I'll show you. So here you could see, oh, this one I did in March. So I was testing out my Noodler's ink and my Banu fountain pen with the 
um, the copper ink agent, agent copper, the dye mine. But you can see there's no bleed through on here. But of course, that's the struggle. It's like when you find these type of notebooks in your outlet retailer, like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods. It's you're kind of depending <laughs> dependent on the season on if they will get more or not. So I regret not getting enough. I only got a few because. I wasn't sure if it was going to be fountain pen friendly and then when I came home they were and by the time I went back to the store <laughs> there were none left. So if you ever for those that are based in the United States or based in um, Italy I tried going on their website and for now you cannot it does not ship internationally at least here to the United States. This is a brand and there's their website Alphabet and um, yeah I did an ink test here with my Pilot G2 no bleed through and then here you can see the Nuller's ink it's a wetter ink and it's dark and then my Twisby extra fine and no bleed through so for the price point man you can't beat it and it is in that A5 size like the moleskin um so let's continue on sorry for this informal video <laughs> i just wanted to hurry and get this out because i know with the holiday season coming up i don't know when i'll be able to do it and i just um didn't want to be intimidated by like a perfect setup so i hope you don't mind my handheld production here let's get into okay another a5 I think we already touched on this Midori. This is the A5 Slim. Yeah, this is part of my favorites. I like the spiral bound and I do like that it is a blank notebook. It has 200 pages. Um, I actually did stock up on these. These would be great for like travel journals, but um, yeah, I don't really have one set up or in use properly um, just because Again, I've been secretly using the Moleskin Expanded, so I'm trying to finish this up. But another A5 notebook that is my favorite, and I don't even know why I'm calling this my favorite because I haven't even <laughs> journaled in it, but this is based off of your recommendations and on one of my um journal my journaling guests on my blog. A long time ago, I was very active on my Seaweed Kisses blog, and I featured Elena, some of you may know, where she introduced her commonplace book. And that was the very first time I've ever even heard of that, um, you know, that reference or that title as an everyday, like a commonplace book. So she was the first one to introduce me to like the Seven Seas brand. Um, let me see. Oh, the Seven Seas Crossfield. And this is the grid. Here's a website where you can buy it or I think on Etsy. I actually got this on Amazon because their website, it did not allow me to purchase it. So I don't know. Interesting. But as you can see, I like this because it has a lot of pages. I love options with a lot of pages. And although this is not blank, I do appreciate how light this dot the dot grid is it's the Tomo River paper. So I know it's already going to hold up well with inks you do see you know the see-throughness here um but no bleed through so in my mind what i'm thinking of doing is okay let me know this could work but once i finish this moleskin i'm imagining i could cut this down to the a5 slim and put this in a leather cover I realized throughout the years that A5 is great when I'm just, you know, sitting at my desk at work. Um, it offers a lot of room, but for some reason, I really, my brain has connected with preferably like an A5 slim, like that extra little half inch, it, it matters. So the, the slimmer profile, I don't know, just something about it. It's just more comfortable in my hands. I know I'm probably weird um, for that, but I, I want to give this a try. Um, speaking of A5, though, another favorite. I featured this on my Instagram. This is the Pen and Gear Personal Notebook. It's very, very slim and 
thin. You guys, I have unapologetically collected. I, you know what? I shouldn't even say collected. I'll just say I have added this um, to stock up on. I should say I stocked up on these because, I mean, they're 97 cents. So for under $20, I have all these notebooks and they are fountain pen friendly. So for 97 cents, I mean, you get 60 pages and fountain pen friendly. That is amazing. So I, yeah, I don't care if it looks like hoarding. It works. Um, speaking of it works with notebooks. This is another favorite, the pen and gear. My regular viewers, especially, I think like, was it six months ago? I did this whole new video sharing why I love this. Walmart for my US-based viewers. Walmart and yeah that was Walmart um fountain pen friendly if you don't believe me watch that video I did it's pretty lengthy but just trust me it is fountain pen friendly let me show you this is um I do have some writings in this journal hold on let me find it where I am using my fountain pen okay um so here it is, the pen and gear. It's housed in this Lacala Wright cover that I've had. Pocket size. Love it. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, this is what I use these for. Because a, a lot of you have asked, like, what do I use this for? Is this like a planner, an agenda? I like these because, again, for 97 cents, it's just kind of like a little scrapbook. You can write down your to-do list, your grocery list your thoughts maybe quotes sometimes when i am carrying like a smaller handbag i always need a notebook and i used to carry field notes or like these um moleskin thin notebooks now these i actually try to get them on clearance at tj maxx ross discount retailers because i think a, a three pack is like ten dollars for like a couple more dollars, I can have like a full size journal. So, and again, with moleskin not being the most, you know, fountain pen friendly, I try to use other <laughs> resources. And that's where I discovered this pen and gear. 97 cents, okay? I don't feel guilty. I don't feel shamed <laughs> in using all of these. And if I wanna do a to-do list um, and then rip it out, it's not being held in here with, you know, the rest of the stuff that may need to remain or roll over um so back to the fountain pen did i uh, i'm trying to see where this is ballpoint okay right here i could tell that is my um my vert empire in my twisby you could see there's no bleed through and then um oh yeah okay so this Grocery list. This, I could tell. Look at the ink. It's darker. This is, I could tell. I use my Twisby. And, um, yeah, there's like no, like, bleed through. And then the rest is just like random scribble scrabbles in here. But yeah, that's what I use these for. Just random bits and bobs. Um, a little word of encouragement. If, you are struggling with keeping a bigger notebook if you feel intimidated by blank pages or just um don't know if you want to invest in a particular notebook or notebook size maybe check out a smaller notebook like this i like this spiral bound because i can use one side and the other side like this let me tell you from personal experience especially for those that are beginning Small things, okay, turn into bigger results. Small steps turn into bigger results and bigger accomplishments. And what I mean by that, um, I was not a daily journaler per se about like eight, nine years ago. I would just journal when certain uh, events happened or certain um, emotions <laughs> were present, but one day I found, not this one, I'll show you in another video, but I found something similar like this pocket size notebook and it started with me writing 
a simple to-do list, like what to do. Again, this was like eight, nine years ago where social media and certain apps weren't as popular. So I would write down what to do, errands to run, my grocery list, my to-do list. And soon enough, that little notebook turned into like my crutch. Like I needed it. I had it every day and I'll, I'll show it to you. I've shown it before somewhere in my past videos. Um, but to-do lists then turned into a recap of the day. And then the recap of the day turned into goals, dreams, projects. And then that turned into full on pages full of thoughts and um, experiences. And then the next thing you know, I'm like starting to journal. As each step goes by, I feel like it unleashes more, um, you know, um, I wouldn't even say creatively, but it just your mind. I don't know. I just, it invites more thoughts. So yeah, don't be scared to try something small, something basic, or just start with a list, a to-do list, because that small little practice will turn into bigger results, right? It's just like when you are trying to get healthy. Yes, someone could shame you and say, oh, you're only walking to the mailbox into your house, but those steps repetitively build up. Next thing you know, you're build, you're walking to your mailbox, then you're walking to the park, and then you're walking a mile, and then you're running 10 miles, right? So someone could see your journey and think it's nothing, um, or they may consider you not a, a runner or an athlete, or you're not being active, you're not really working out, um, but you're still putting action into that practice. Okay, off my tangent. This, um, I wanted to share this because I found this in Hawaii when I was on vacation. This is a moleskin size as well. So if you have a Target, um, you may be lucky and find these on clearance. As far as fountain pen friendly, I would say maybe, um, let me see, what was that? Yeah, no, not fountain pen friendly with some of the darker inks, but my Empire, my Vert Empire, not so bad and my gel pens these work so you can get lucky and find moleskin alternatives at target and walmart has a good brand called the exceed brand that i've featured before okay so let me that was notebooks wow that was just on notebooks <laughs> Let me hurry up and get through this because this video is way, 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 way too long. Okay, another favorite notebook I shared. This is the Pen & Gear. Again, US-based viewers. This is, uh, you can get these at Walmart. Very fountain pen friendly and um, $2, okay? For $2, you definitely will not be disappointed. The paper quality holds up very well with the inks. And it is, for those that like the dot, okay, it is a dot grid. But it's faint enough where, to me, it looks like it could be a blank. Um, it could be blank. So, let me also... Um, okay. If you don't like the spiral, Pen & Gear, they also make this composition. The only thing is, it doesn't lay flat. So, that's why I... Um, I just keep these because I cut these up. I cut the, the paper out and... I can use them as my ring bound paper inserts because they hold up very well. They're very sturdy. So that's another favorite. A lot of you have highly recommended the caliber brand. So thank you for introducing this to me. Yes, I would say this is definitely a favorite for those that like the lines on your pages. If you like spiral bound and it is pretty budget friendly in my area, these are found the Caliber brand is found exclusively at CVS, okay? And I think these retail for like $6.99, $7.99, but surprisingly, wow, it does hold up really well with fountain pens. So, um, I like the sound, this paper, very crinkly, and I did a fountain pen, you know, test on these. I do like them. So I stocked up on these different colors. Oops. 
What was that? Was that? Oh, that wasn't anything important. <laughs> I'm, some of these things, I do like random projects. But speaking of projects, that's another thing that I use with those, um, with these pen and gear. They're like my project inserts. And I, <laughs> that's another reason why I love these because I don't feel guilty, but I can compartmentalize certain Mm, like projects and ideas in my head without trying to make tabs within a bound book. So here I have, this is for, I think like my planner setups and ideas I want. This is just a notebook I need to use up. Then here, this is for work. I have like newsletter ideas, but I actually had this cover design by LaCal Lorite and I have four elastics right here and right there i added these pockets la calorite is not a a shop that my regular viewers are new to you know that i love diamond and his wife they are um, a small shop that make these beautiful custom leather covers i don't know why i was in this like weird red mood i wanted something bright vibrant i was going through a phase where i just like loved vibrant red so um yeah diamond produced this cover based off of my sketch and it houses these a5 inserts beautifully now, speaking of A5, I also, this is a new cover, but it's now my favorite. It's going to be used for work. It's going to house my Hobonichi because this does not have an elastic. So I'm going to um, house it right here. I did ask him for four elastics so that way I can customize this and use it and add like dashboards or whatever I need it to be. So I love these pockets. So for work, this is the Hobonichi notebook. And then I have this um, belt closure. Looks very professional, very sleek. And yeah, so this is a favorite. Again, this is um, Lacau Lorite. I'll leave the link down below. I think he said he was having like a season, a seasonal sale so you may be able to take advantage and get like a discount because that's kind of when I, <laughs> I i think when i usually get these and this was also custom made you can get anything from like different custom stitching contrasting leather so yeah i guess this would be a favorite as well when it comes to covers so we'll all the covers that i'm showing you are by that shop lacal lorite he has two different um little stamps that he uses but going into my favorite covers i have a5 a5 this was my very first where i fell in love with his shop a5 slim this is in the green tea matcha it's um this small one was inspired by this big one so this is where i actually I was inspired to do this style because that was when I was in the height of my moleskin love and I wanted the belt closure so it could fit um, any size notebook. So as the notebook got bigger, it could accommodate the chunkness. So yes, diamonds, he can do any size that you want. I got this beautiful brown, this brownie. He, his brown is called the brownie. It's so lush. This is another favorite. I don't think I've shared this in my video um, because I haven't been using it as much because I've been using this moleskin just kind of like bare. But this is an A5 slim as well. But I think for 2023, I'm going to start breaking this in. But you see how beautiful this is? Ugh. If you love variations and texture in your leather, Diamond's leather is beautiful. I always think of Diamond as like my secret tailor and that's how I refer to him as because he can literally make anything I envision. I'm pretty basic though. You should see his Instagram and his YouTube channel. Some of the clients that he has or customers, they come up with some pretty cool ideas. Mine is just very basic. I just ask for 
typically this belt closure or traveler's notebook style and then just like some you know little pockets here this is in his vintage tan color this is a5 oh beautiful so yeah that is um a favorite on top of this vintage filofax that i found this is the Ascot. I did a video on this as well a few videos back, so check that out if you haven't seen it. But I love it because it has no back pocket and it lays completely flat. So um, vintage is the way to go when it comes to Filofax. I don't know what happened. Why don't they don't make these beautiful leather covers like they used to? Hmm. And, um, okay, pens. Wow, I am so sorry this video is so long. But let's go over all of my favorite pens. And excuse me trying to do this one-handed. I did not want to feel the fuss of a proper <laughs> setup because I know I would probably never do this. So while the house is quiet, I thought I'd do a video and show you all of my top favorites. The Twisby 580. This is... Not a surprise. I Ever since I moved in this, it has been my favorite. I love this fountain pen. I love Twisby. And hmm, I think it was definitely worth the investment. Let me try to open this. It's the rose gold. Oh my gosh. The ink. I've been using the same ink. The Noodler's, the Noodler's Ink Heart of Darkness. Um, when I was starting my fountain pen journey, a lot of you guys recommended the Noodler's Ink just because of the price point. And um, the... Yeah, the darkness of this particular ink. It's very wet. And this particular one is um, the fine. I like the fine with Twisby. This is an extra fine nib. Oof, this is the glow in the dark pen. But truth be told, I did not get it because it glows in the dark. I got it because it reminds me of Jade. Okay. Um, the stone Jade. I love Jade. And they Twisby actually has a pen that they properly have titled jade but i don't like that color <laughs> i don't like that jade that they use i like this glow in the dark to me this reminds me of like a jade that i like the ink you can see it's the green the revert empire and that is what i'm using so for a green pen this is my favorite for a green ink yes i do love the vert empire so thanks for my fountain pen friends for recommending that bic okay can you believe this is a, a favorite? The Big Atlantis. I like it because it's click. This is an extra fine, or I should say it's just fine. The fine tip. Okay, like that. The Big Crystals. The 1.5 millimeters. Wow, these write so smooth. I think that's where I showed. Okay, let me show you. In my moleskin, let me find a page. In my moleskin, a lot of my deep journalings were with big pens. Um, 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 okay, so like this, see, like this bold, this was the big pens. So that's what I mean. Like, just because something is maybe not as popular or maybe not popular in social media, doesn't mean that what's popular is going to get the most performance out of you or creativity. So this I could tell was like my big pen and um, trying to find ones where they don't have all my crazy. Um, okay, like right here, I can tell this is actually, I think that was my Pilot Metropolitan, but you get the point. The point is use what works and I realized that I really like the big crystal. So I added that back into the collection. These highlighters, these mini highlighters are from Muji. Cute, because I have like two on one. They're very thin. And then um, the Jetstream pen. I like those because the, Hoban the Hobonichi pens, ever since I've been using Hobonichi, since 2014, I think, I love their Jetstream multi-barrel pens. So I always have these. And then I have this one I got at the stationery store. It has the green, blue, black, red pencil. 
So I like this. And then the Sarasa. Okay, so that's one discovery I made. Little tip for you Moleskin users. I can still use gel pens with my Moleskin using Sarasa, the Sarasa pen. Let me see if I have a, um, a sample here. Like I know I did the big, but just take my word for it. The Sarasa, the, the Sarasa works. Okay. There's no bleed through with the moleskin and that's why I like it. So the pen case that I'm using, I guess I could feature it in my favorites. I wasn't intending to, but I know someone's going to ask what it is. I like how it came with this pen holder and then it slips in this pouch. This is by the Galen Leather Company had this for years and I like how it does open up pretty wide so you saw how many pens I fit in there okay guys that was it sorry this is a very informal video let me know what your favorites are maybe your favorite notebook your favorite leather covers your favorite pens maybe inks too but um this video has been <laughs> long overdue because a lot of you have been wondering like what my favorites have been throughout 2022 but i will have my 2023 setup coming up so i'll see you guys in the next video